Hello everybody, my name is Raging Raptor and I welcome you to a new episode of How to Penetrate. Today with the AMX M4 Emily 51 tier 10 French heavy tank of the new alternative non auto loader heavy tank branch. And today we once again will have our trusty T28 EF30 to show off the armor of this menacing vehicle on tier 10. And yeah, so far so good. The lower plate will not be our weak spot this time. The lower plate has an effective armor of around 220 millimeters and the cupolas will also be something really hard to penetrate. They are 170 and 160 respectively. But don't forget, those cupolas will be a weak spot for tier 10 vehicles, for tier 9 vehicles, for tier 7 vehicles. And right now, I loaded on some APCR shells with 161 mm of APCR penetration and you can see they have quite the hard time penetrating the cupola on the right side because of the quite steep angle. But here we go, the first shot finally penetrating but we start to bounce again. But this time compared to the Mauerbrecher we have no problem or we have no plan to actually penetrate the AMX M4 frontally with APCR or AP shells. But now as soon as the AMX M4 is actually side scraping a little bit or showing us a little bit of his side, we are able to hit this part of the armor. This is a 100 mm thick um, plate here in a 90 degrees angle, meaning we should have no problem at all penetrating. And yeah, you can see nothing else is, is a plan or have a is a position where we can actually penetrate the AMX M4, MLE 51. And this is also kind of counting for the tier 9 vehicle. The tier 9 tank has the same turret, it's exactly the same one, just a smaller gun. The hull is quite less um, armored, the upper front plate is sadly not that strong. It's around 240 effective millimeter, here it's 300. But aside, they are going to be quite weak. And even with HE shells, we have a decent enough or a decent chance to actually penetrate the AMX M4. As you can see here, we are penetrating two shots after another with HE shells and this is kind of hurting it. This is also a big problem of the AMX M4 54. It's HE shell vulnerability. If you are playing with artillery and you are able to hit the AMX M4 on its back, then you will have a pretty darn good time as you will do tons of damage and maybe even set this tank on fire. But now let's go to the next vehicle being the Mauerbrecher. Can it penetrate our mighty AMX M4 frontally? We will see. So here we are with our Mauerbrecher. It has 220 mm of AP penetration and 260 mm of APCR penetration. It has roughly the same as the Defender in the last game or in the last How to Penetrate, but it has a more accurate and more reliable gun in that kind of sense. But as you can see here right now, the lower plate is 232 mm of effective armor and it is quite a big problem for our Mauro Brech to actually penetrate it. And yeah, talking about um, reliability and we actually missed that shot into the lower plate. For tier 10 vehicles, this lower plate or this tank in general is a menace. After 5 shots, I think it was, we finally penetrated the lower plate. But then we are able to shoot or aim at the cupolas and you can see there is no problem at all penetrating them. But that's about it. Otherwise, does the Amex M4 MLE 54 do not pose any weak spots? If the tank is actually side scraping a little bit, those flanks here are starting to be weak spots because they're only 200 mm thick and a much worse angle. Obviously, we are still have the same weak spot there if we are not if you're actually aiming correctly and hitting it. There we go. The Coppola still stays the weak spot, but if we are angling even more. We will still have a quite hard time penetrating those flanks right there. As well, as you can see it's 219 effective armor. Finally we penetrated and we are almost more quite close to kill the Amex M4 off. The only thing which I also want to keep showing you is, well... 
overmatching. And this tank actually has two positions where it can be overmatched. One of which being up here for 122mm and more guns. This plate right here is, you guessed it, 40mm thick. Meaning that everything above, as I already said, 120mm will be able to auto penetrate it. This is not a case for the roof though. The roof is a little bit more armored and the sides are also more armored. But those sides are still rather weak and you will see it with our special tank in the end. There we go, penetrating our almighty Amex M454 with a shot into his side. So, now we have a look at if the Amex M454 is trying to stay hold down or is trying to be such a sneaky guy. As if he is going to be hold down, you can see the cupola start to be much smaller and it might be a problem for you. Obviously, if the Amex M4 is standing like this, showing his lower plate to you in such an angle, easy, it's one of the most obvious weak spots. But if he is a little bit steeper down, this plate right here is extremely thick, around 300 millimeters as far as I remember, you can actually try to shoot behind here because, you guessed it, underneath this part here, if we um, look sideways at the tank, this plate right here underneath, which is um, facing upwards, is 40 millimeters thick, meaning that we should be able to penetrate it, if you are aiming correctly at it. But now I'm looking, yeah, the cupola start to be quite hard to hit and they're starting to be a little bit more effective armor because of the angle. <coughs> so here we're trying, make, can we get it? Yes, we nailed those cupolas. The left one being a little bit harder than the right one, we already saw it beforehand with the T28E with 30. And here we're also trying to go for the big cupola on the right side, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right now we are searching for any apparent weak spot frontally in the gun mantlet, which there is none of which, only for 300mm heat shells. There you will have almost every time a penetration on the gun mantlet as it's only 300mm uh, mm thick. If an Amex M4 is actually um, raising its gun mantlet, depending on how much it raises it, like he's over angling, then you can be should be able to actually penetrate it through it without a big deal. Here it's still not enough, so I'm telling him, hey, yeah, make it a little bit higher, and there you can suddenly see 180 millimeters of effective armor. That's nothing anymore. We can easily penetrate it. And the last shot which we will have on our Amex M4, yes, it will be the one showing off this ridiculous weak spot right there into this plate right here. Now you can see it actually rather good as the mudguard is gone. This is the plate which I'm meaning it's all the way down. It's only 40 millimeters thick and most tanks on tier 10 have a 122 millimeter gun and more. So yeah, now let's go to the next tank. So now the next vehicle is the Object 260. And why exactly did I took the Object 260? First of all, it has its APCR shells, which are 260mm in effective armor, as far as I remember. Yes, and it has heat shells with 340mm of heat penetration. So now we have a tier standard, roughly tier 10 tank when it comes to penetration statistics. So right now I'm trying to find, well, can I be able to penetrate uh, or should I be able to penetrate his gun mantlet? No, obviously not. But if we are lucky, we will actually have enough penetration to penetrate it. The cupolas are obvious, the lower plate is obvious, this part, double front plate though, won't be able for us to penetrate. You can see this plate is around 280 millimeters of effective armor, this thick plate on the lower plate. When we go a little bit deeper down, it's only 230 millimeters thick, so you will have your quite fair share of problems penetrating there. If you try to bounce shells into your armor, of the, or this deck armor, it will be super hard and it won't be possible. It is possible though against an object 260, and yeah, a quick little ex excursion. If you know how where to aim, you can actually aim at here and it bounces down into the deck armor which is super weak so yeah right now we're trying to penetrate the frontal gun mantlet of the amex m4 and no this place there is not a weak spot and why i'm shooting at those fins here you will see it in a type 5 heavy video now we have heat loaded and suddenly yep the gun mantlet is not as strong anymore the gun mantlet will become super weak super easily you can penetrate it without a big problem. 
Even the upper plate starts to be a weak spot if you're shooting heat with it. Or not a weak spot, but it will be easily penetrated. Underneath the turret, the turret ring is only 300 millimeters thick. You can penetrate it easily with heat. <coughs> you can see a lot of those parts are orange to green. So if you're actually going into an um, face hug with this tank, you will have a good time penetrating it if you're shooting heat shells. But one thing which I want to tell you, yes, usually if I have APCR loaded, I should be able to penetrate this space right here. But with the heat shells, overmatching is not working. The same with HE shells. HE shells do not overmatch. They simply explode. And it's the same with heat shells. They're not going to explode, but they're just going to ricochet away. So yeah, but it's not really that good of a idea to actually face Huck an Amex M4. As he is a lot higher than you, or a lot higher than most of your 10 vehicles, so he has an ability to shoot into your roof. Just as a quick little note. <coughs> so yeah, and the last shot goes, or should go again, through the cheeks of the gunman, so through the duck bill. Here you can see it again, it's really not strong against heat shells. It looks like it's super much, or a lot of spaced armor, it isn't. It's quite simple to penetrate. This is also going for tier 10 TDs, for example, like an Object 26A, the Chuck Panzer 100. They should have at least a 40% chance of penetrating the duck bill frontal gun mantle. So yeah, now let's go to another tank, the Amex 13105. So, why did we pick the Amex 13105? Simply because it has comparable penetration to the Sheridan with 234 APCR penetration and 280 millimeter of heat penetration. Sadly enough, it's an amazingly inaccurate gun, which is actually really annoying. And we made three shots into low plate, one just simply missed, and we are going to bounce that um, shot. But if we shoot heat, you can see we have around, yeah, we will have a, a opportunities, or we will be able to penetrate the gun mantlet. And the lower plate. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah, a little bit problems with the throat lately. So I'm going to make it a little bit quicker till as we are reloading right now. Now we have still APCR shots reloaded, and you can see a lot of those things are orange for us. The side armor is really weak, 60 millimeters of armor. You can penetrate. <coughs> oh boy. The Amex M4 with not a real big of problem. It's amazingly hard to actually side scrape with that tank. It's highly not good idea to do that. We're going back again with an APCR clip. You can see the cupolas are still green. No problem, no big deal penetrating them. And there goes the AMX M4. So, the last tank which we'll see is the 183 again. Why exactly the 183? 182.9 mm of caliber, meaning it will pe over penetrate well, 60 mm of armor. And you can see this is even counting for the roof. The roof of the Amex M4 is 60 mm thick, meaning bada boom. We are simply going to penetrate that without a big deal. So, yeah, another part of this tank which is out of pen for, for the 183. The upper front plate is starting to be uh, penable, depending if the AMX M4 is actually standing hold down. Another thing which is going to be penable is the side armor. As I already said, it's 60 millimeters thick, and here I'm trying to go into a good position to actually show you. So we are searching for a better angle to actually shoot at the AMX M4. And why exactly? The side armor of the AMX M4, as already said, is 60 mm thick, meaning we have auto pen in it. It doesn't care which angle. We hit roughly the frontal road wheel, and there we go. The AMX M4 is history. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, let me know in the comment section below. And the next tank, I can already tell you that, will be the Type 5 Heavy. But after that, I am free for suggestions. I saw already something like the IS-4. Let me know in the comment section below what you want to see in the next episode of How to Penetrate.